गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ क्लैटोपल्स लॉजिकल रीजनिंग सीरीज टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस इन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग दैट इज टेस्टेड इन क्लैट सो फर्स्टली व्हाट आर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस आर दोस दैट व्हेन यू रीड द पैसेज देयर इज सेवरल क्वेश्चंस दैट आस्क्स यू क्वाइट डायरेक्टली व्हाट इज द पैसेज टॉकिंग अबाउट दे विल आस्क यू फॉर स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन that is given in the passage these questions look like for example according to the author which of the following is true according to the author or according to the passage xyz right and this will get more clear when we discuss the examples at the end of this video so direct questions requires you to pick up specific information and examples that are given in the passage itself and choose options that resonate with that information to solve direct questions you need to keep three things in mind number 1 understand the passage when you reading the passage itself make an active effort to read voraciously and read in a manner that you're able to absorb all the information this will help you not only gather all the important aspects or the main idea of the passage but keep in mind the information and the small tidbits that are mentioned in the passage number 2 understand the question properly as explained earlier looking for words such as according to or mentioned in the passage will hint you that this is a direct question and you need to think accordingly number 3 find the right answer that resonates with the passage now that you know what the question is asking of you it becomes quite essential to choose an answer that has direct evidence or is based out of the passage itself Once you answer or find the answer in the specific line, keep in mind that sometimes you might need to sew in a couple of lines of the passage. The direct question might not only be in one line but in different parts of the passage. To keep that in mind and read active. Remember that for direct questions, you do not need to assume or use any outside information. This becomes extremely important. Just find the answer in the passage and tick the option that resonates the most with the information given in the passage find proof for the option you're choosing this is very important while direct questions are arguably the easiest question in critical thinking sometimes students make mistakes because they let their own biases cloud their judgment vis-a-vis the passage they think if it's say a passage about climate change something that we'll be discussing later in the passage They already assume that I know about this passage so maybe this is what the passage talks about do not make this mistake this is the easiest question that is there in critical thinking and you should always ensure that you mark these off correctly so look for proof in the passage irrespective of how sure you are that this has to be the correct answer so to sum up when you look at direct questions number 1 read the passage very carefully and understand the concepts number 2 identify the question correctly as a direct reasoning based question and finally number 3 while choosing your option look for proof in the passage to always get the right answer for these type of questions understand this is sort of like a puzzle where you're looking for the missing piece to be fit in and make the option correct i hope this helps we will quickly look at a couple of tips to maximize your score in clat and then look at an example and solve it to help cement our knowledge and understanding of this type of question a useful tip that i share with all my students to maximize your logical reasoning score is to use the direct reasoning based question very smartly understand that these questions are the easiest and you do not you need to use any thinking ability particularly you just have to identify information in the passage as such when you stumble across those philosophical or highly advanced economical articles that trumps you a little bit using direct reasoning questions can be your savior quickly look at the questions for these kind of question and try and attempt it first since you only have to look for information in the passage this is going to be a very quick solve and give you the confidence boost you need to get through this particular passage that might be slightly challenging for you right now let's quickly look at an example of a direct reasoning based question and try and cement our understanding of this topic the passage will be on your screen as well let's read it out together climate change a global phenomenon 
is primarily driven by human activities such as burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. These activities release greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, trapping heat and leading to a rise in global temperatures. The consequences of climate change are far-reaching, including more frequent and severe weather events, melting polar ice caps, rising sea levels, and disruptions to the ecosystem and biodiversity. So take a minute, read the passage carefully that's on your screen, and try and absorb all the relevant concepts that are present here. Okay, I hope you've understood the passage clearly. Let's take the first question without any options, and the second one with options. So let's say the first question is, according to the passage, what is the main cause of climate change? So here, looking at the passage itself and ignoring any options that might have been provided, we can see that the primary driver for climate change, as per the author, is burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. These are the two things that the passage mentions results in climate change. As such, any option that encapsulates both of these particular activities would be the correct answer for this direct based reasoning question. Question number two, according to the author, what is the central role of greenhouse gases? Option A, release of methane and carbon dioxide. Option B, melting ice caps and rising sea levels. Option C, causing climate change and option D, trapping heat which increases the global temperature. Take a minute, read the question and apply the principles you learned from the passage to answer this to the best of your ability. All right, I hope you were able to choose an answer. Now let's discuss and break down this passage. Before even delving into the options at hand, let's carefully read the question and see if there's proof for it in the passage itself. The question asks us, what is the central role of greenhouse gases? As per the passage, we can see that the role of greenhouse gases is increasing the global temperature by trapping heat. That is the main role according to the passage and the author. So this prima facie seems to be very strongly resonated in option D. So we'll keep that in mind while solving the options. Let's look at all the other options and try and eliminate them and see if they're incorrect. Option A, release of methane and carbon dioxide. This option is incorrect because we need to identify the role of greenhouse gases. Methane and carbon dioxide, according to the author, are the greenhouse gases themselves and not the role of greenhouse gases. As such, this option cannot be the correct one. Let's look at option B melting ice caps and rising sea levels. This option will be incorrect as well because melting of ice caps and rising sea levels happens due to climate change, which is caused by the release of greenhouse gases as per the author. As such, while this option talks about the final end result of the release of greenhouse gases, we need to look at a direct causation and not an indirect causation. Let's try and understand this concept of direct and indirect causation a little better. Let's say you ate breakfast. Eating breakfast gave you a lot of energy and you use this energy to go and win a tennis tournament in your school. Understand that while breakfast played a central role or at least a part in your victory, it, its primary role was only to give you energy. Think of it this way. The energy was derived solely due to the breakfast you had that day. However, the victory in terms of the tennis tournament happened because of several reasons. The practice you put in, your tennis skills, the skills of the opponent, which court you were playing on, as well as the energy you had due to the breakfast you ate in the morning. Hope this helps clear up direct and indirect causation. Always choose direct causation when looking at direct reasoning based questions. All right, with that we come to option C, causing climate change. Again, this is a case of indirect causation. The role of greenhouse gases is to trap heat and raise the global temperature, which resultantly causes climate change. As such, C will be the incorrect answer. The right answer, as we had prima facie in the earlier discussion, 
will be option D itself, trapping heat and increasing the global temperature. This option is directly emanating out of the passage and we can find proof for it in the passage itself. Hope this helped you clarify how to deal with direct reasoning based questions and even when the options look quite similar, how to eliminate the incorrect options. I hope this helps buttress your legal prep, specifically with regards to logical reasoning. I'll see you next time.